You are listening to Internet Traffic Jam. My name is Vince Reed, and over the next few minutes, I'm going to give you my thoughts, my insights, and my take about this particular post. Now, the title of this post is Five Myths About Money. Now, before I dig into the content, if you're a person that wants to connect with me more and you want more traffic and leads for your business, visit MyInternetTrafficSystem.com. If you want to gain access to my secret money formula, visit VinceReed.com. And if you want a place to capture all the leads and want to teach you how to get, you can leverage my free capture page system at MitsPages.com. That's M-I-T-S Pages.com. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into the content. Five myths about money. Now, if you're new to listening to Internet Traffic Jam, it's where I release a burst of free content in five minutes or less. Now, these are in no particular order, uh, but I wanted to share these thoughts with you because a lot of times the things that keep you from making money are the things that we kind of uh, keep in our own head and a lot of them are myths and and, uh, I want to break those myths today uh, because I want to make sure that you have nothing holding you back from getting to the next level. Now the first thing that you may have heard or you may even believe is that money is the root of all evil. Now you know I always tell people, people that tell you that, ask them if I were to give you a million dollars right now would you take it? Okay, and chances are they would, then that statement would obviously be blown up right in their face at that very second. Money is not the root of all evil. Okay? You know, if you're a horrible person and you have a lot of money, you're going to probably do more horrible things. If you're a good person and you have a lot of money, you're going to do um, more good things. So it really just brings out um, you know, what you already are. And uh, you know, I want to make sure that you really take in these myths because, again, they could be the roadblock that's keeping you from Um, success. So, okay, money is not bad. So you have to get that out of your head. Number two, um, if you make a lot of money, you're going to have less time for your family. Okay. And I'm actually recording this while I'm sitting out over the beach, looking at the ocean on a family vacation. Now, some of you may be saying, well, you know, aren't you supposed to be spending time with your family? Well, actually I am. They're sitting right next to me, looking out over the ocean and I'm able to do this message. So Uh, My point is, I wouldn't, um, when I was working nine to five, I never had time to do these types of things, to go on vacation. So if you you design your life the right way, you definitely will have plenty of time for your family and you'll have plenty of time to do the things that you want to do and go places that you never thought you'd go uh, with your family. Okay, so definitely get rid of that myth. Uh, Number three, uh, bad people are rich. Okay, so a lot of times people say, you know, you know, bad people are rich. And this is different than money being the root of all evil. Because those are people that say, you know, if there weren't any money in the world, then the world would be a better place. So that's what root of all evil means, which isn't true. Bad people are evil is completely different. Um, I should say bad people are rich are completely different because um, they're basically saying that, you know, people that make a lot of money are doing bad things or doing illegal things to get it. And that's not true. Okay, most people that make a lot of money are putting a lot of value into the marketplace. Now, obviously, there is your exception to every rule. Okay, but again, okay, that that person was... Um, an evil person and they had a lot of money they're just going to continue being the person that they are but in general most people with money do a lot of good things give to a lot of people and help a lot of people so um, that is definitely a myth number four um, you know the myth that I hate the most is that oh they're only rich because their family was rich okay now what people have to understand is it is um, you know not always easy to keep your money okay once you make a lot of money all right. So even if your family was rich and that money was handed off to another person and let's say that they continue to be rich, that's skill because that person has to maintain that wealth. But the truth of the matter is that most people that are wealthy, um, you know, come from very humbling beginnings. I mean, and they've, they've had stories where, you know, they've lost everything. They've had to rebuild. If you listen to most successful entrepreneurs, um, they will tell you that. So um, that is definitely one of those things that people that don't have a lot of money tell themselves to make themselves feel better. Uh, number five. Um, you know, this one is, is huge. And this is that the system is against me, right? So you, you come from tough beginnings, you live in a rough neighborhood, maybe, you know, there's certain um, things you've got, um, you know, a job where you work the night shift. I mean, there's all these different things that people will put in their head to make it seem tougher for them to get to where they have to go. But at the end of the day, those are all excuses. Okay? The system isn't rigged against you. There are people in way worse situations than me, than you, that find a way to make it happen. And um, it's about you being efficient with your time and doing what most people aren't willing to do. All right, so if you debunk these myths, you will definitely be on your way to creating massive success in your life. And again, um, you know, what are the myths? That money is the root of all evil, that um, if you make a lot of money, you have less time for your family, that bad people are rich, uh, that uh, their family must have been rich, that's why they're rich or that the system is rigged against them. These are all myths. 
um, that you want to definitely eliminate right now if you want to take your business to the next level. All right, so hopefully you got a ton of value. And if you're a person that wants to connect with me more and you want more traffic and leads for your business, you can visit myinternettrafficsystem.com. If you want to gain access to my secret money formula, you can visit benchread.com. And if you want a place to capture all the leads and want to teach you how to get, you can leverage my free capture page system at mitspages.com. That's M-I-T-S pages.com. You are listening to Internet Traffic Jam. My name is Ben Shreed, and like always, I will see you on the internet. Take care.